Can you see that tiny person hiking up that mountain? That's me, I'm Johnny. I'm actually normal size. Now, what does a bodybuilder, an Olympic athlete, and a landscape photographer all have in common, aside from the six pack? That's the question I want to answer in this video. I think most of you will understand this pretty quickly. You see, you could watch a video about lifting weights, but that won't give you large, defined muscles. You could listen to a podcast from an Olympian, but that won't improve your fitness. And you can watch every landscape photography video on YouTube, and that won't improve your photography. Not at least until you add one final piece of the puzzle. You see, what we all have in common is how we get to where we want to be. And that is through repetition. My drone's fine, by the way. You see, when you're starting out, you don't realize just how much goes into a photograph. Whether it's waking up at the crack of dawn, finding the right place to park, knowing where you're going well enough so that you can get there in the dark, maybe for the first time you've ever been there. You also need to make sure that you arrive in good time and be able to predict how long it's gonna take you to get to wherever you need to be. Oh yeah, and I hope you pack for basically every single weather condition that there is. All of this and we're only just about to take the camera out of its bag for a quick selfie. But you see, the thing is, what that guy there, me, doesn't know is that he's plodding up that mountain with all that weight on his back as planned to take a photo that he doesn't actually like. So for this one, I've basically got no foreground. I've cut it off. I've cut the lake off at the bottom as well. You can probably see from here, there's a lake down there. I've cut that out of the shot and it's just that ridge that we came up a minute ago. Uh, and in the background, you've got loads of loads of hills that I'm gonna probably stack the exposures to get all of that in. But you can see there's kind of mist rising up from them just subtly. Uh, but yeah, that's the shot that we're gonna take. Now, there's a lot wrong with this one, but I'm sharing it with you because I feel like I learn more from the photos that didn't work than I do from the photos that did work. But I don't feel bad about it. In fact, I feel good because I know that just by being here, I'm making a tiny bit of progress. And shortly afterwards, I was in the right place at the right time to take some photos I'm actually really happy with. I really like how the shadow from the ridge fits in line with the edge of the lake, which I think is called Flin Kai. I also like how the top of the mountain creates a kind of new shape out of the bottom of the lake, which makes this picture just a little bit more unique. I've been pretty liberal with the colours here, they aren't true to life, but I do like them this way. This is also a drone shot cropped vertically, so the resolution is quite low. But nonetheless, for an abstract, interesting shot, I really like this one. I decided to head a little further down the mountain after I could see that the weather conditions were about to change drastically. So I headed a little lower and thought maybe I could fuse those two ideas together and take more of a traditional shot. There's very little video of me taking those shots, mainly because the weather was really shifting. This was the mountain's way of telling me it's time to find some shelter for a short time. I knew it would pass, but at this point, there was no point in me trying to take any photos. So I just spent the last two, three hours hiking up Cadaridris, a mountain in Wales. It took me about an hour and a half to drive here and I got up about four in the morning to get here for the sunrise. The reality is that the hardest part of landscape photography, at least for me, is to apply all of the things that I know I know, but when I'm tired, hungry, cold, lost, you know that voice in your head that's saying, come on, it's time to go home. And funnily enough, most of the shots I'm most happy with are the ones I took after convincing myself to dig deep and wrestle my camera back out of my camera bag. But I've only learned that through repetition, and the only way to galvanize all of the information I'm learning is to get out there and practice and get a tiny bit better every time. That's why when I go away from a trip like this, I go away feeling good because I know that my legs are stronger, my photography is better, my knowledge of the roots is 
better, my knowledge of shooting in log and drone control, all these things. So I didn't get what I wanted, but I'm very happy with what I did get. Anyway, my Apple Watch is asking me if I finished my workout and the unfortunate truth is no, I haven't finished my workout. I've got another two, maybe three hours to go to get down off of this mountain. But um, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed some of that footage and I'll see you in the next video.